in module 7 i thought about how there are three methods that can be used for assessing uh, hitch effectiveness one of them is a qualitative method called the match terms method and there are two quantitative methods uh, one of them is called dollar offset and the other is regression now for the regression method we it's actually a statistical method okay uh, called linear regression and we're going to use the data given in this table on slide 63 to generate the scatter diagram with the fitted line and also i'll show you how we can generate the output here in excel so a sample of it here so this is a data from the slide 63 we have the, uh, the the data the observation for seven periods the change in fair value for the derivative the change in fair value for the h item then uh, this is the output that we're going to get later and this is your scatter diagram okay i'm going to do a f i'm going to do a new uh worksheet okay let's just paste the data here you can type it on your own as well okay now uh, we'll start off with the scatter diagram so you will click on insert the insert tab then uh, look for this chart here okay under chart you should see uh this chart with dots on it the scatter scatter chart okay click on the first option scatter then uh, you can right click select data then click on add okay you can type a title here uh, so maybe uh, this is i'll call this regression okay then for the x values uh, we'll select the h item change in fair value just select c2 to c7 uh, c8 then for series y select from b2 to b8 okay of course be careful uh, not to include this uh, one here just remove it right that's done let's click ok and you have your scatter diagram now how do we uh, then draw the line on, over it just right click any of the data labels here and just click add trend line uh, by default uh, they should add a straight line uh, instead of a non-linear line you can of course choose others if you want but for the regression method it's always based on linear regression so that's that's for the first part if you want to uh, gener include the r square or the slope you can do that as well okay let's go back to the line okay so when you go back to the uh go back to this point the trend line options okay uh you can actually choose to include the intercept okay the equation or even the r square if i click uh display r square you will see that uh they'll include this r square equals to 0 0.9931 okay if you put display equation they will include the whole equation in uh the slope is negative 1.0742 okay uh so they include the whole thing inside you can just take the uh, the slope now how do we generate this uh so we're done for the first part on the scatter plot okay this is what i showed you in class now uh next part of course is how do we generate this summary output now uh i already have the data analysis package in my excel okay if you don't have it uh, you can go to file under options okay you should see add in then under this you should select uh, excel add-ins click go then you should select this analysis tool pack and click ok then it will proceed to install the analysis tool pack that's how you find uh, that's how you get this data analysis option here so once you're done with that you can click on data analysis under these options here look for regression click ok Alright, so I've already, I have already have selected all this, uh, so what we need to do, okay, is to select the input for Y and input for X. Now recall that from what we have learned, input for, input for Y is a change in fair value of the H instrument, which is the derivative, and X is the change in fair value of the H item. So for Y, Let's go back to this so for input y i will go for derivative or i'll highlight include uh the column 
b1 to b8 okay i include the header then for x okay we go for c1 to c8 and since i selected the i highlighted the labels here i will just click labels to tell excel that i've selected the labels as well and uh, where would you want to include the output i'll include it in uh, this particular worksheet if you want you can include it in a new one but i'll put it here so i'll select somewhere here okay uh cancel this off I'll then just press okay so you got the output now okay uh so let's let's compare so from this part okay the multiple r uh this is not relevant to us is 0 0.9965232296 given here okay the r square is what we need uh it's 0 0.9930568 okay same thing what you see here and then uh, observation is 7 we have 7 observations okay can ignore the second table here we are not going to use it then for the last table which is the coefficients table you see that the slope is negative 1.074 which is again what we have here okay so that's that's how um, the regression output can be easily generated in excel Okay, so if uh, if you are doing this uh, next time, then uh, it's, it should be quite easy. Okay, but this is just uh, the, of course in the exam, all you need to know is uh, what's the relevant criteria, which is the R, for it to be uh, effective as a H, the R square must be between zero point eight to one, and uh, the H ratio, okay, uh, should be let's say between negative zero point eight to negative one point two five. Right. Thanks. So that's the end of uh, this part.